is not committed, maybe he's not buoyant financially, and he's not ready for such stumbling blocks, for such, for, to, for, for such hindrances to his getting married to this lady. You know, most men want a smooth transition. You know, just starting work and, you know, not having enough savings. Mata Udom Emmanuel, the wife of Our Excellency Udom Emmanuel, please, we need your attention on this issue. We need your attention. Don't dance to the tradition and the custom of our people. You are our first lady. You are like our mother. I think it's your place, please, to step up on this issue, to address this issue. Bring women from different sectors of the society. Market women, you know, the intellectual ones, women of influence in the society. Bring them together, form a committee, and try to see how you can address this issue. Wives of chiefs of the different villages, bring them together. Sit them down and discuss this issue. It is a problem. Our young ladies are crying silently. They are in need of help. They are desperate. This issue has to be addressed. Please get this committee together and discuss this issue. Because this lady out there, they are our mothers, they are our sisters. They are our cousins, they are everything to us. We can't just allow them stranded like that in the street. The government has to come up with policies, a systematic policies that will address this issue and perhaps punish those who go beyond. They have to draft bills, come up with laws that will serve to make our women grow. It's a, it's a form of empowering, empowerment of our ladies. So we need to empower them, not through education alone, but also through this social aspect, social, um, social cultural aspect that affects their life now and in the future. They want to get married. Everyone loves to get married, but all these kind of hindrances with this hard economic time that, that we are living in makes it difficult for women to get married. Okay, you may say, okay, after all the Igbos and the rest of them, they also, you know, they did, they did charge, you know, the, the bread price is exorbitant. Well, it doesn't matter. It is our place as young people of a primary state to change the status quo. We can't keep letting this continue. You can see for yourself clearly how many of our sisters are out there. Are you happy to see them stranded? Getting, I mean, having babies without getting out of wedlock with no father? Not being able to marry because... The young man that is just growing up doesn't have enough money to pay the bride price. Come on, man. We're talking about bride price here. Our women are not commodities. They are not goods and services that need to be moved from one place to the other. They are our mothers, remember. They are our sisters. Mothers, I'm also addressing you guys. Mothers in the village. Most of you take part in exploiting these young men and women. All in the name of tradition. I thought it's a place, it's your place as a mother to have come in between and say, hey, this has to stop. Or hey, you can't charge this much. Or hey, this doesn't need to be this way. Why do you dance to the tune of the elders? The elders are really greedy, they are selfish, if I must say. They are only thinking about themselves. Every slightest opportunity that comes away, they want to use it to celebrate, to do merrymaking, to drink and get drunk and, you know. And, 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 and exploit these young men and women as much as possible. They know they stand to lose nothing. We can't continue in this way. We have to make amends right now. Like I said, Her Excellency, Martha Udom Emmanuel, please step into this matter. Step into this matter. Please gather those women, intellectuals, from different backgrounds, the wives of the chiefs, the market women, Young boys and young girls, the different stakeholders, bring them together, the different NGOs that are working towards empowerment of women. Bring them together, form a committee. Let them discuss these problems. Let it be heard in the radio. Let it be heard in the television. Let it be discussed in schools amongst young girls and boys. Because the boys, the young ones, they, they need to be aware of this. They have to change their mentality. They are their, 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 their 
their um, outlook toward marriage and tradition. They need to draw a line and take into, con into consideration all these aspects. There must be a compromise now. We can't continue in this way. The government needs to come up with a, a bill, with a law that stipulates and dictates how much bride price should be taken from a woman, if possible. If the chiefs in the village can sit down with the women of the village and discuss this issue, then I think it's a place of the state, state government to step in and address the issue. Because we want to see our women grow, come on. We don't want to see them die single. We don't want to see them going around running, trying to get as much, jumping from one man to the other, you know, uh, just trying to be, just, just, just to be. We don't want to see them desperate. We want to see them have kids in, in their husband's house. You know, I think that's the dream of every woman. I think it's our place to make change. We can't keep sitting down and pretend everything is fine. We, the young men of our tribe, need to have a completely, we have to change our mindset. Yes, tradition is tradition, but it needs to be amended. We are living in a globalized world where we need change. We want to see all our women married. And the only way we can do that is by looking into these aspects that hinders them. And one of them is bright price. They are no commodities, like I said. They are our mothers and sisters. So we need to do everything to address this, for us to work together for the betterment of our state.
and I hope that most of you have been able to get enlightened and been empowered and um, have made up the mind to, to make amends. We are so few. I, I think we are the only two states, or the, the only two nations that speak this, I mean, speak similar language. I mean, in the world. So why is there this tension? Why is there this hatred, this animosity between the other party? I think this is an issue that we're going to discuss in our next video. So stay tuned, subscribe, and click the notification button for updates on this issue. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. I love you all. It's your Kamen. I'm Ikedo. Achibongeyo.